Hello! Some time ago I uh, started doing some kind of um, small YouTube uh, review-ish content um, when it came to things like um, the Craig Precision G3 combat pants, uh, a couple of like military surplus gear from uh, Great Britain and so on and so on. And I actually, I think I made a promise to do a full review of the Crab Precision G3 combat pants. Well, shit. I am still too fat to get into those. So, uh, it's it's been going kind of not so good with that one. Um, so, what are you to do? I mean, like, I cannot get into those pants and... There's like a global fucking zombie apocalypse going on, so what are you supposed to do instead of just sitting at home and researching the magical bond between your dick and your hand? Not much, right? You go on eBay, you check up things, and you realize that some um, some stores uh, are going out of business or are dumping prices to um, to not go out of business and you can if you're lucky as I was find some real real bargains so without further ado the cry precision g4 combat pants in my size not too fat for these and these are awesome. These are excellent. Uh, the material is thinner than the G3, but is supposedly uh, even more like wear resistant. You get your pockets are kind of slanted instead. And instead of the height adjusters being hidden inside the front pocket of the G3. You have them in the side pockets here. Uh, so when you lay down, for example, you go prone, you go to the like sniper mode. You don't have those digging into your thighs if you're, uh, I don't know, if you're a snowflake, if you're a special snowflake and don't want that to hurt you. Instead, we got zipper pockets which are nice and they are also a bit more on the side-ish of things because yeah because reasons i guess i guess people have the, i mean these kinds of things are in development all the time so depending on modus operandi or uh, situations in wars and so on or in conflict zones where where I guess special forces soldiers bring their experiences back home and they probably have some kind of input into what what works what doesn't work and of course g3 pants have been in play quite some time and i guess they are excellent for what their purposes but i think I mean, like, I tried on the G3 pants, and if they had been, if I had picked the correct size, I think they would have been great. But when I put these on, holy mother of God, they are, I mean, they don't have the same kind of stretch panels, but they are light. I like putting on a pair of sweatpants and just like going they they are like real nice broken in pair of jeans that are also thin yet for for example the knee pockets you have a mesh kind of material here too to uh, make them uh, I don't know why ventilated whatever yeah and 
pockets. Inside the pockets, there are uh, like uh, the stretching, stretching kind of material to accommodate, for for example, for magazines and so on and so on. Of course, I have like a first aid kit here, always in the right side of pocket. Yeah. And of course, they have the low cough, low calf. Uh, pockets as well zippered because I don't know why but they went with zippers much of the possibility also you can cinch down as with the G3s and um, on the right side here you got a couple of like uh, loops here I don't know what they're for exactly but I guess they're like if you're operator dude you probably have some kind of use for that. Also, you have a, a small like uh, pocket-ish type of thing. I use my Leatherman Raptor for this pocket. It goes all the way through into this pocket, uh, or these uh, slits go through on both sides of these pants. So the fly, you will inconspicuously check my crotch area out uh, zipper and also you got the velcro fastening uh, the uh, loops are I think they are like two inches or at least they they can accommodate for a usual two inch belt I tried with the Ronin Tactics uh, Task Force belt. The inner belt is two inches and it really just sits very nicely. Uh, the butt area, we, they've gone with the Velcro pockets, good size of pocket. Oh, we see from some fancy schmancy part as well. Drugstore. So, I got these at eBay, brand new, for approximately $260, I think. And I tell you, I mean, they usually go for $350, I think. Yeah. Anyway, they are nice. I mean, like, you want to have them on all the fucking time you don't want to you want to live in these things because they are they are awesome this is really unbelievably nice pants and they're kind of like the material is kind of semi stretchy as well so instead of going with the stretch panels all around uh, or or in stress areas as uh, the G3 pants had you have uh, areas you have all the ho the whole pant is sort of semi stretchy material and it's it's a very nice nice touch also as I forgot to do tell you the padding or the how you say it the belt or right in the belt area or mid section area uh, is padded just like the G G3s and uh, it's very good especially if you go with those kind of um, uh, Ipsic uh, belts or harder type of types of belts where you have something more more like a solid belt uh, doesn't dig into the hips uh, in the same kind of way that if you have uh, normal jeans or normal like uh, BDU pants that are like thin ish so um, it's a really 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 nice thing yeah. so I, I guess that will be my ad hoc review of the Creposition G4 Kabat pants nice go and buy some even if you don't have the money, take a loan, buy some.
Peace out.